So the next thing, we've got A down, and same thing you do with B. I mean, all you need to do is touch two points, but we're going to touch a lot more to try and get that high point. So touch as many as you feel comfortable with on that one. And then what we'll do is we'll do that same thing, the least squares translation. So try to put all of those points in between your planes, find the least squares, and then you translate it over to the high points, and that'll give you B. Mm -hmm. Do the same thing with C. You only need to touch more, one, but the more the better. And then what you do is you do that least squares translation to give you your datum C. So what the CMM has basically just done is it's given you these black lines. We now know where the datum reference frame is, and now we need to check some things. So what we'll do is we'll start uh, probing the surface, and we'll say, okay, uh, what'd you get there? Well, uh, we found out that it was uh, plus two. Okay, probe another one. Well, over here we found out it was minus three. I see those, they call them sometimes whisker diagrams. It's high and low. It, it tells you to point, point they checked and what they got. Yeah, if it goes plus or if it goes minus. <coughs> the next one when we checked over here, that one was going to be plus eight. Woo. Now this one down here, it went down to minus two. And over here it's plus four. And over here it's minus one. And so you check a normal to the contour there too, aren't you? Exactly, and plus a zero. Maybe that one was perfect. This one over here was minus two, and you just go all the way around the part, and you tell me how much was it off and how much was it in. And then this one over here, that one was uh, plus seven. And so I can actually touch as many points as you want, and I can tell you exactly what they fell within. And to me, this is the information that manufacturing would want to know. I mean, they would, wouldn't want to know, okay, that dimension checked is 1.207. Where was that? Was that here, or was it there, or w which point was it? I mean, all these different points would have different readings on right. here. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing is I could actually take this part. If you gave me all this information right here, I could actually sit there and plot it out and draw exactly what my part actually looks like. I could tell you the more points you take, the better resolution you'd have on what your part contour is really like. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the way that they'll do something like this, and the more points, the better, the more uh, information you'll have on something like that. And to me, this is the, what I want to know. If I'm in manufacturing, I want to know, okay, everything th seems to be looking good, but whoa, what was this over here? Check this out. I went from plus 2 to minus 3 all the way up to plus 8. There's something fishy going on in this area. Give me a couple more points to find out what's happening. Or going over in this area, wow, this area looked really good, but then all of a sudden it going out on this side over here. So this is the information I think manufacturing, inspection, engineering would want to know, stuff like this. Mm -hmm. And I think we got more on uh, inspection reports on profile in uh, Unit 12. Yeah, Don't Unit we? 12 talks a lot more about profile, but just, I guess, introduce the idea of profile mm -hmm. and how neat it is and how, how great it is for manufacturing wants this type of information, engineering wants this type of information, and we just need to start telling quality to start inspecting parts like this mm -hmm. by putting the profile talents down. Mm -hmm. All right, sounds good. So that's the idea behind uh, behind profile. Uh, profile is, uh, you know, gives you a basic dimension, and the basic dimension locates the center of the tower zone, and now you give a tower on either side.